My name's Latrice. If you do not recognize this face, nice to meet you. We're going to jump right on in. Hmm. Wasn't going to have a title, but I guess I have one now. Uh, approve the change taking place. Hmm. Romans 8.19 says, For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. I thought about that. I was thinking about things changing a lot of all things. I said, ooh, this verse. But I was like, the creation ain't the only one waiting to see who God is going to reveal. Because huh. I'm waiting to see who I really am. I'm waiting to see what the, not end goal, but I'm waiting to see the other Latrice on the side of all of this. Is anybody else trying to see, okay, God, all this been going on. When, it, when is I'm going to get to the one that's the, you've, yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's planted in the in the in the shoes and the boots and got my Okay. Brings me back to approve the change taking place. I watched a sermon today. Pastor uh, Darius Daniels. PD, what up? He had a sermon that was called uh I'm not the same. And I started thinking about my day to day. All right, let's not get too deep too quick. But my day to day, I was like, who? I'm not the same person I was last year. This time last year, this time, June of last year, I am I can confidently say I'm not the same person I was last year. I'm not saying the same things I said last year. I'm not doing the same things I did last year. I don't even want to be the same person I was last year. Ha! Huh. With reading and writing and talking and thinking and crying and all the things out loud, I learned stuff about myself last year. And from last year, right? And the stuff I learned, the stuff that came up. A lot of it, I was looking at it right here. God put it right. I was looking at it. I said, oh, I don't like that. I don't like all of that. Some of it, maybe one, two, three. I don't like all of that. So I was like, yes, thank you for revealing this to me, putting it in my face. But I realized I don't want to be everything that I see right here. So for me not to want to be those things, that means I have to change them. That means I have to work on changing them, right? Boom. So we get to working on changing stuff that we realize is not for us it's not beneficial it's not helping me it's not even nice i don't even like that but what we don't realize pastor Darius Daniels was talking about the difference between modification and transformation modification is changing some things that we already have he gave the example of not doing jealous things anymore hmm. that's modification not doing certain jealous things transformation is not being a jealous person anymore i said jesus the fact that he had to use that example, I was like, mm, that's me. Anyway, so I was like, I don't want modification. I catch myself being in modification. And what's happening is I'm not accepting, receiving the change. I want things to change without things actually changing. We talked about this. The definition of accept. Hmm? Accept is to agree or consent to. To respond or answer affirmatively to. To receive with approval. What is approval? Hmm. To receive with approval, and I added, of change. I have to approve the change happening, which means I can't resist the change happening. If I resist it, I'm never going to transform the things I don't like. Does that make sense? Okay, well, I'm sweating, okay? <laughs> anyway, I hope this means something to you. I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you like a light bulb boop, at the top of your head. Si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo, yo te quiero decir a ti que te amo. I want to tell you that I love you if nobody has told you today, because there's a light be living out here. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.